Hello YouTube, welcome back to the African Alua Outdoors. As you can see, today we're going to start discussing camo. But it's not the camo that we would assume would be ghillie suits, leafy suits and other clothing apparel. The camo that we're going to be discussing today is noise camo. And I'm about to play you a clip now that will cover all the sounds that bow hunters are used to. However, you must remember that animals have a much elevated hearing than what we do. So, listen to this next clip and then we'll discuss this after. Thank you. Hey folks, welcome back to the African Allure Outdoors. Hope you guys all had a stunning week. I'm sorry that I didn't bring out a video on Tuesday as I promised to bring you, but I had work that was bringing money in this week, so I had to get out there and get it done. I have a wildlife translocation business and uh, I, had, I was most fortunate to move some buffalo this week, so things have been a bit hectic. But I'm back now, it's Thursday afternoon, so I hope to get this video up tomorrow evening and I hope to do the next one over the weekend and then hopefully get one out for you by Tuesday as well. So, we are now entering the world of camouflage. And, uh, you know, I think when people hear the term camo, they think of um, the apparel, you know, all the clothing, the face paint, um, camo tape, all that good things, but uh, I think we forget sometimes the most important things. And I want to start today with noise. And you've seen the clips now that we've played in the intro of uh, noise that is applicable to bow hunters, 
but is very applicable to rifle hunters as well. Um, I had a friend comment to me this afternoon. He said to him, uh, the worst noise in the bush is when you throw the ice in the glass and you pour the brandy in there. Okay, but we're, we're under a severe lockdown in South Africa, so none of that is happening here. But I must have had a good chuckle at that or, you know, the opening of a beer that... You must remember that animals hearing, particularly those of prey in the African bush, are like spidey senses. I mean, they, their hearing is just absolutely insane. And anything that we can hear, if you amplify that by five or six times, that's what the animals can hear. Some of the things that I've showed you in this video already, um, you will notice that they're common things. I mean, things like zips. A zip and a Velcro, you'll see, I, I don't know if you can see, but I've got Velcro on my pockets here. You'll often see when I'm talking on videos that often my pockets are folded in. It's just, it's become a way of life for me to take into account sound. Sound is amplified for animals and it just, it switches them into high alert straight away. You know, uh, if you just take uh, sitting in a hide, for instance, and you pull that bow back and that arrow slides over that arrow rest and it's not quiet, it makes that metallic sound. Let me tell you, that animal senses go from maybe four up to eight or nine. And then you're going to get things like string jumping and all those good things that, you know, Impala and warthogs in particular do is they, they, they're renowned for string jumping. It's just because the alert levels go up. Now, when you're walking and stalking, this is even more critical. And like I say to you, you know, when you're a bow hunter or a hunter for any f matter, is you've got to take all these things into consideration. You've got to learn how to walk quietly. You've got to learn how to put your feet down on the heel and then roll your feet in as you're walking. Now, if you take it, I'm a big guy. I'm two meters tall, uh, six foot seven. I wear a size 13 boot. Walking has always been a challenging thing for me. First of all, it's hard to get under those low-lying bushes. The other thing is, is with having such a good grip on Africa, it's incredibly noisy to, to try and walk through the bush. But what I have found is that um, you, you, your mindset has got to change. I use all leather shoes now. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which brand I, I'm using, but I, I choose them over canvas because I found that occasionally now and then you might scuff your boot. And if you've got canvas or you've got nylon clothing, which is the trend these days is that people make a lot of stuff out of nylon. You get this nylon sort of noise and that sound can be heard far away and that's not a natural sound you know animals have fur and they have soft skin in the parts that move they can walk very quietly it's really only their hooves that have contact and if you take animals like all your spiral horns and when i say spiral horns i'm talking about bushbuck nyala kudu and eland they're what they we call direct registry animals what they do is where they pick up their front foot their back foot sits perfectly on top of their front spur. That's called direct registry. Whereas many other animals don't do it. And if you look at the spiral horns, most of them have got well-adapted big ears. Uh, most of them live in sort of dense habitats or, you know, sort of wooded kloofs and, and, and that sort of thing. And they tune into sound. Let me tell you, a kudu can hear a branch break from a long way away. And even noises in hides. You know, when you're sitting in a hide and you open a box or, you know, you open a, a fizzy drink. That's a classic one in a, when you're sitting in a hide and you've got all these animals around a water hole and somebody, you know, twists the bottle off a, a fizzy drink and it goes, Psh! you see those animals' ears go up and they become super aware. So it's something that we take into consideration. Any man-made sound is a problem. Uh, safety catches on rifles. The bolt action of a rifle, you know, those are those are all foreign sounds. And we've got to try and mitigate that as far as possible. Now, there are ways of mitigating that. And one of the ways is, is, is using moleskin. Moleskin is a very soft material. Uh, you can often buy it sticky on one side. They use it on things like warts on your feet or calluses on your feet where you get rubbing. And uh, what you can do is you can put this thing on bow rests. Um, Draw back your bow. You know, sometimes people have got a cam squeak. It might be ever so subtle, but when it's a foreign sound, you're going to get reaction out of the animal. 
So make sure that your cams are well lubed. Um, you, you know, you can use camo tape to tape up things like your range finder that when you're walking, it doesn't knock against your binoculars. These are very simple things. You know, I, I can't teach you how to walk through the bush quietly, but look where you're walking. If it is very leafy, you know, just try and push the leaves out of the way with your foot and then gently place your foot down. Um, but the mechanical sounds, zips, Velcro, um, rifle bolts, noisy cams, noisy arrow over the rest, noisy quivers, all those things we can mitigate. And it, this stuff is vital, you know. And as I say to you, the guys that walk and stalk, they can tell you that when you've bumped a zip in your clothing and that animal's heard it, they tuned in, they know what's, they know what's cutting. And that sound attracts to you. Funny enough, things like coughing and sneezing, don't worry animals too much because they do it naturally. Um, any of you that live where there are mountains, you'll see there's some mountains up here. You'll often hear baboons coughing at night. You'll hear them. <coughs> um, you know, a lot of animals snort. Um, we sneeze. Animals sneeze as well. So, you know, that's a perfectly natural sound. Human voices are something that is not a wild thing so even a whisper is not a natural thing to them so you've got to keep your noise down you've got to keep quiet you know that animal's not got to go know you're there but anyway folks we're rambling on here so this is about sound remember keep your sound down get close to your animals put good shots in and we'll be successful we're going to be covering more in this camo series the next one will be probably next week sometime and we're going to be covering a different subject of camo but there it's a vast subject bear with us stick with us like and subscribe to you've got it now please if you like this channel subscribe down below hit the bell button i'd love to hear from you guys i'm going to put my email here at the bottom somewhere send me an email whatsapp me if you're a south african i'd love to hear from you and uh, i hope to bring you a lot more thanks for watching Till the next one, goodbye.